Good morning lads and lasses. Welcome to the 17th of November. It's Thursday morning. It's a lovely day and you might be out to T5 in background and 698 is over there. So it must have been quite cold last night because it managed to crack my windscreen on the truck. Yeah there were a few defects in the screen anyway but uh, so we're down here T5 has got the spreader back on it again we're just going to throw out that pile of muck um, that pile of muck hopefully and then possibly the one next door as well and do that field at the same time so this is all the mole plowed beginning of this week <coughs> excuse me uh, I'm just going to do a test I'm going to muck spread, try and muck spread that one first before I mole plow it. I'm going to try this one, spreading it after I mole plow it. I've kind of got a theory that because that's just muck muck, instead of box muck if you want to call it that, or so that stable muck, um, it's going to stick to the tyres more. So what I end up doing is just having big chunks of the muck missing. Um, it kind of used to happen when I when I did the muck spread originally the way I did it. <coughs> so we shall see. Uh, I'm not expecting that to be very rotten or spread very well. Back to the well the weight of the muck and how rotten it is. I've only had that down here for three or four months. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. I'm um, just walking over this field so you can see cleat marks on the tractor. It is actually feeling fairly dry. We had a hell of a downpour yesterday afternoon. I put a comment on Farmer Peas yesterday saying oh, we were all itchy on the last job. We'd just taken a top out of a little conifer tree uh, just to reduce in height. So it was like a half hour job. I was stood there with a the chipper with my head in chipper feeding it because the teepee's got quite a big hopper on it. And suddenly I had a wet patch on my backside. If you don't know a chainsaw trousers, uh, the type of trees that wrap around your leg um, don't actually cover your backside. So you, everything else is fine apart from your backside, got absolutely soaked. But it, it literally was 10 minutes of absolute torrential rain. It was like one of the American films where everybody just gets sopping wet after two seconds. So, yeah, I'll try and get that one done as well. Uh, the, where the slitting is, it's actually dropped down a little bit in height. I'm guessing it's settled ever so slightly. So, uh, uh, into the old last. Now the slow problem I've got today, because it's only me driving this old girl and that girl, is she's got heating in and this hasn't. And I'm in neither for more than about five minutes. So, I can't put the heating on in that one because I get too nice and toasty and don't want to get back out again. And I've got to have my jacket on in this thing because I'm freezing. <laughs> I'll tell you, modern life for this family malarkey, it's hard work. It really is. Where's that TV over? I was... <clears throat> right, I'll try and set you up somewhere decent so you can have a gander at what we're doing. And we'll throw some poo again.
So this is the second load now that's going on. Just filled her up. We're about halfway through the field. Finish that pile off. Um, I did bring a bucket over from that pile. I couldn't get the last load. And stuck it at the bottom there. As the chains were taped down and up, hopefully I'll mix it a little bit with this other stuff. Again, it's not, it's not great. Um, there is a bit of muck in there. There's a lot of bedding in there. Um, it's just what it is. So we'll try and mix up a little bit. What I might do is fill this up on the last load. I think it'll only take three loads. And then nab a bit from there. As this field really does need a feed. It's usually quite short. To be fair, usually this field and that next field are quite short. Really want good feeding. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Right, so that's three fields done. Just got this one done, as you can see for the sun. Yeah, there's only a load and a half on this one. That one's done. There's like three or four loads. That one's done. You know, three in that. But there isn't enough to do this one. I did actually empty the muck heap that's just down here. In the summertime, it's not probably building up into a massive pile in the middle. Well, in the middle. It sits over there, but it just looks awful when we've got people coming into this thing. So I might go and flail that field off, get it knocked down to the ground. As uh, Justin and Adam say from the hay team, it's uh, green mulch. Uh, and it'll also make it better for oh, nicer grass for the next spring as well for the horses. So yeah, <coughs> we're getting there. I'll go and take her back up. I'm gonna go for a brew and then we'll look at putting log plow on the back as well. And it's like probably might have with having the muck on the ground and trying to mold out. Um, this muck is very, very wet. Right, I think you can see all right out there. We are now flaming what we call a car park field. The reason being is the horses that were in here in the summer, well, there was only one or two usually and they didn't really chew off the grass very well. So first job is knocking the grass back down so it's like a clean slate for spring. Uh, two, they hardly did any poop picking because the grass was so long because the horse didn't eat it, like, you know. But most of it got left in here. So that flails basically smashing it up as well and spread it around a bit. And third, it's kind of Rolling some of these rumps out of the water. I am tracking in between the ball point. Um, I'm not making a massive mess in the field so far, but tender is definitely the word. I'm starting to get a bit of an edit to be honest with that sun. So it's just, right, it's on that side, so it's how I'm working this way down the field, I'm getting blinded. I'm trying to use the A and B C, that is the cap to try and uh, lock it out. Right, so we're just finished. She's just running. She's just running down. <laughs> so yeah, we're done now. This is it, flailed off. So we've still got like an inch, inch and a half of grass on. It's just taking the long ends off. I would have liked to have had this done a bit earlier in the year. But one thing or another, it didn't happen. So, uh, so it's still quite, quite tacky on here. But I think it would have actually been worse if I hadn't slitted it by now. But uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm done for you.